Okay, everybody. So in this little video here, we're going to take a quick look at a, a rationalizing problem. And we're going to simplify the result here. Now, when I take a look at this expression right here, the very first thing I notice is that 9 minus x in the denominator. And I'm not 100% thrilled with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a negative there. And what that does for me is it, it makes that little binomial there look a little prettier. Okay, I like it when it has uh, the decreasing powers of, uh, of x there, the variable. It just looks better, and, and it's easier to work with a little bit later on here. Now, to rationalize this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the binomial conjugate of the numerator. In this case here, I am rationalizing the numerator because that's where my, that's where my radical is. So when I do that, when I introduce that binomial conjugate, so it's the same binomial with different signs here, I know that when I do my product of that, I'm going to get a difference of squares. So the square of the square root of 3x minus 2 is just going to be 3x minus 2. Whoops, minus 2. The square of 5 is going to be 25, so it's going to be minus 25. Put the back in there. Now, in the denominator, I'm just going to leave things right now. I'm kind of hoping that that x minus 9 is going to disappear here in just a second. Now, 3x minus 2 minus 25, that's going to be 3x minus 27. What's nice about that is I can see a common factor of 3 up there. So now I'm going to factor out that 3. And I get x minus 9, and that's what I was looking for. So I've got this negative x minus 9 down here, square root of 3x minus 2 plus 5. And now that x minus 9 factor is going to cancel. Now this is, of course, assuming that x cannot equal 9, because that Things have changed a little bit here. And I'm going to move that negative up to the numerator because whether I'm dividing by a negative or multiplying by a negative, the result will be negative. This will be 3x minus 2 plus 5 with the stipulation here that x cannot equal 9. Okay? And so that's the answer that we're looking for.